Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. Um, so welcome to my living room. Um, I have a fire going as you can see. It has been snowing all day where I live. Um, I live in Colorado. I woke up this morning and the whole outside of my window looked like a Christmas card and it has just not stopped snowing these big fluffy white flakes all day. So I have just started filming the sketching by the fireplace video and Desi had to go to the bathroom so I'm just about to take her outside and I thought I would take you guys outside as well on my phone um, and show you just how deep the snow is. Are you ready to go outside? Go on. Good luck Desi. I'm not following you. <laughs> Come here. I am so excited. It is so pretty outside and I had to build a fire and I just thought it would be really fun to just sit by my fire and sketch and like film it for you guys. I may move a little further away from the fire like when I actually start sketching just you know so that it's a little safer and not quite so hot. Um, but I thought it would just be nice to just cozy up by the fire. Um, my dog is actually literally right here. Desi, you gonna come into the video? Hello! Can you say hello to YouTube? What's that? That's YouTube. Well, I mean, it's a camera, but it's gonna be YouTube. Oh, you're a good girl. <laughs> Thank you. So I just thought it would be nice to sit down with my puppy and do some sketching and maybe test out some of the art supplies that I just got in my art supply haul. But before I get to the sketching, I do want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video. So this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Um, so I have done one previous video with Skillshare and I've used Skillshare myself quite a few times in the past. I actually used it when I was first starting my job as a motion graphics designer because I was trained in 3D design and so I had a lot of learning to do in 2D. Uh, so I used uh, Skillshare quite a bit for that. It was super, super helpful. So I've personally used it and I was really Really, really happy with my experience so when they reached out to see if they could sponsor another video I was like heck yes I love your service so if you don't know what Skillshare is it's basically an online learning community and it has thousands of classes in so many topics design and technology um, there's so much stuff about art and um, animation I know Chloe Rose art here on YouTube she actually has a Skillshare class on digital painting which is really really cool you can take that um, and basically it is a membership you sign up and you get access to all of this huge library of these interactive classes. Skillshare is also super affordable um, annually. If you get an annual subscription, it's like less than $10 a month. And I think if you pay month to month, it's like $15. So it's a super good deal and you get such a great variety of online classes. Um, it seriously has something for everyone if it's something that you're interested in. So if that sounds like something that would be helpful for you, I know I do have a lot of kind of self-taught learners out there or people that want to learn more about art and don't really know where to start. I will have a link in the description box below if you click it, then the first 500 people are going to get a two-month free trial to Skillshare. So yeah, uh, make sure you check out Skillshare. I know that I personally really like it. And definitely go take Chloe Rose's digital painting class. Um, it's really, really cool. And with that, thank you again to Skillshare. And I am going to grab my sketchbook and grab some of those new gold inks I just got. And let's make some art. Okay, so... One of the things that I knew that I wanted to do during this video was try out a bunch of the new supplies that I got in my previous video. And if you haven't seen my previous video, it's basically a haul. I had a bunch of gift cards to like art supply stores and I went and had a little bit of shopping time. It was quite fun. Um, so make sure you check out that video if you haven't seen it. Um, I will put a little link up there. Okay, my dog is knocking things over. But anyway, <laughs> um, so one of the things that I got were, were these beautiful gold and silver inks from Windsor & Newton that I really wanted to try. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I drew something that I could use really, really shimmery colors in. But other than that, I didn't really have any ideas that I was gonna go with. Um, I knew I wanted to do a sketch with me and it was so snowy out that I was like, ooh, I'm gonna curl up by the fire, as I said. And I feel like all of those things kind of combined to create my inspiration for what I worked on. Um, so I decided to do something inspired kind of by the moon and the night sky. Um, and then kind of like a moon spirit kind of floating, I guess, in the sky with really like floaty hair. Um, the hair kind of went a little weird, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, 
So yeah, that was kind of where I started with this. And I really tried to not stress that much about the end result. I just kind of, I feel like I tend to overwork a lot. Like I just go over and over and over things trying to make them perfect. And it kind of sucks all the fun out of it sometimes. And you just like don't get to enjoy yourself. One of the things that I've really been trying to focus on recently is having more fun with my art. I feel like it's so easy to kind of lose sight of having fun with art. Um, especially if you are in school and you're doing a lot of art for school, if you're a, a professional artist like me, um, professional artist, like you make your living from a creative, from art, um, which is what I do. So technically I guess I'm a professional artist. Um, but like, I feel like if you have that, it can be really, really easy to kind of get burnt out. Um, for me, I feel like YouTube was, uh, I don't want to say a contributing factor, but it's kind of like I work creatively all day and then I come home and I have to make something for YouTube. Um, and then there's a lot of pressure, I feel like, from outside sources, whether you're um, a student and that's your professors or a competition with your fellow classmates or you're an employee and you just like want to get a raise or you feel like you need a job, like you need a better job or whatever it is. Like there's so much competition out there. There's so many amazing artists out there and it always feels like we're being told to hustle, 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 like work harder, like everything you do has to be amazing. You always need to be doing studies and everything, you know, like study, do still lives and draw from life and like everything you do has to be like for a purpose, you know, like to improve your art or to learn something, you know, it always has to have a purpose. And I don't think that that should be how it is. Um, I think that obviously if you are wanting to do art as a career, then it is important to spend time on the basics and the fundamentals. Obviously that is super, super important and it's something that I'm a huge proponent for. So this is just something that I think we need to do in addition to. This is not me saying do this instead of doing studies or that kind of stuff. That stuff is really, really important if you want to improve. But it's not the only thing that we should be doing. Sometimes it's okay to just draw something for fun. It doesn't have to mean something. It doesn't have to have this big deep meaning that like is gonna change the world. It doesn't have to be something that you've thought out. You don't have to do 50 thumbnails for every painting that you do. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to spend 10 hours trying to get the anatomy perfect. If you just want to have something and you just want to draw for fun and you want to draw like a pretty girl floating in space or whatever, then you should do that because art is more than just perfect technique. It's also about your creative expression. And I find a lot of times the things that we're drawn towards drawing, those things have meaning for us, even if we're not sure what that meaning is at the time. So if you're being told to draw something, like something's inspiring you, it doesn't matter if that thing has some deep meaning that's evident to you right now or not. Um, if you want to draw it, draw it. Side note, as you can tell, things have changed a little bit. Um, I did end up finishing this the next day in my studio because I got tired and overheated. Um, so I did most of it uh, I did about half of it in front of my fireplace and then I came and finished it up in my studio the next day. So that's where we are now, where we are now. But yeah, as I was saying, I just think it's really important to just let yourself have fun sometimes. There's no, life is all about balance and you can't just work hard. You also have to play and I, I think that's true in your art as well. Um, so a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, I work hard at my art and then I play and I relax, you know, I, I take, you know, I take a bath and I take care of myself and that's good. That's really important. But I think within your art as well, you need to play. There needs to be room to be silly and to be messy and to be fun in your art. And there needs to be room to fail in your art. Um, because I think that having that balance allows you to kind of like tap into maybe different areas of your creativity and it keeps you free and fun and not just focused on all of this technical stuff. Um, and I think it helps prevent burnout as well. Um, I know that for me, when everything that I'm doing is either for YouTube or for my job and I'm not doing anything for myself, it can get kind of hard because you feel like everything has to be up to a certain standard. And so you're almost afraid to make a mark. 
Um, but when I'm drawing something and I'm not recording it and I know that it's just for me and I don't have to post it to social media if I don't want to at the end of it, um, that's very freeing. It's a very freeing feeling. And I think it's important that we do more things like that. So when I went into this piece, piece, it's just a sketch in my sketchbook, um, but I went into this sketch, I kind of had that attitude about it. I was like, I'm just going to have fun. I'm just going to, I'm going to use colors that I want to use. I love the color purple and I love the color blue. And I didn't feel like mixing individual unique colors. So I picked a color palette, watercolor palette that I think is beautiful. And I mostly use pure colors. I did a little bit of mixing, but I didn't do too much mixing because I wanted to. I wanted beautiful, bright colors. Um, that's what I wanted to do. And I wanted to add in silver highlights to her hair and all of this different stuff. Um, and it's just fun. So that's kind of my point this video is have fun with your art. I don't think you needed an entire video to tell you this, but that's what this piece made me think of. So I hope that, you know, it inspired you to have fun with your art. Um, I really liked this piece, so I hope that you guys too. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what you thought of it, if you liked the sketch with me, if you liked the fire place idea. Um, I think it's cozy, so I like that. A huge thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link below and sign up for your free two-month trial. Um, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.